God is right. Amen. Lord, if I come any closer to you, you're going to require me to walk away from something. Modern church don't like that message. She would rather have a massage than a message. Look at your neighbor and say, this ain't the first church of the massage parlor. And that ain't no masseuse up there either. That ain't Marvin the masseuse. Amen. Come on, somebody. Only oil we got for you tonight ain't full of massage. Only rubbing down we're going to be is to rub something out of you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't that amazing? A lot of churches just become a massage partner. Not a message place, but a massage partner. Just tell people what they want. Hallelujah. But if you're going to get closer to God and see the authentic move of the Holy Ghost, He's going to have to kill us. Paul said it this way in 1 Corinthians 15 and 31, I die daily. I die daily. I've heard people in revivals where I'd be preaching and say, my God, it's just it's so long. And, you know, they just keep going. And, oh, Lord, well, I'm tired and I'm this and I'm that. Somebody shout, it's revival. It's not supposed to be the usual. It's supposed to require a sacrifice of your finances, a sacrifice of your time, a sacrifice of your sleep. I'm afraid that the church I don't know much about sacrifice no more. Come on, somebody. It's supposed to require a sacrifice. If it's a real move of God, it's going to require that. I heard of a church, and I went to this church last year. I ain't going to say where. But at the beginning of the year, you know, most of us, a lot of us now, you know, and I've been doing it for years, you know, we go on a 21-day, amen, partial fast. Some have referred to it as a Daniel fast. And some people don't think there's much to it. And I recall say to them, Daniel did it, and he saw angels. How many angels you saw lately? One man looked at me one time. He said, well, you're not doing it right. It's got preservatives in what you eat. And it's got this. And everybody goes in the grocery store. And they concentrate more on the food than they do the fast. And they're staring at the labels. Oh, I can't eat this. Well, I can see they're so focused on this. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. And one man was telling me, you, you, you're broken that fast because uh, uh, blah, blah, you you eating this and that. And it's got that in it. And that dressing on that salad, uh, that ain't the right kind. And did 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 I looked at him. I said, read Daniel chapter 10. I, I said, Daniel, he meant didn't anoint himself for three weeks. That simply translates he didn't take a bath for three weeks. I said, sir, are you obeying the scripture all the way to its fullest? It looks like to me you've had a bath. I'll go ahead and tell you, the Holy Ghost ain't told me not to take no bath. The only man the Holy Ghost will tell not to bathe is the one that ain't married. The rest of you, you ain't heard the Holy Ghost, sir. And your wife will confirm it. Come on, thou shalt not be as Lazarus stinketh. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You can have some stinking thinking, but you better not have no stinking body. That's how the, look at your neighbor and say, that's how the devil saith your wife. <laughs> Come on, anybody say, amen. <laughs> amen. Needs to say that conversation was over about the Daniel fast. <laughs> I showed that joker, he come up trying to bind me and accuse me with all his religious thinking. And I showed him he wasn't doing it all like it was supposed to be done either. God don't look at that. He looks at the heart. But he looks for a sacrifice. Come on, somebody. Somebody say fasting ain't supposed to be fun. People approach you like, no, it ain't supposed to be fun. It's a sacrifice. <laughs> she said, you so crazy. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Here's my notes. Praise God. Hallelujah. But, but somebody said it requires a sacrifice. That means it requires a dying to something, a death of something. That's what God is attracted to. When are we going to get it? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's not where everything's easy. Amen. Where God moves. Some people think the will of God's a padded place. Big bank accounts. Everything's in place, everything's in order, everything's easy. Often that's where great men fall at. Often that's where the anointed and the strong and the mighty fall. Come on, somebody. Because God will never take you anywhere where He's not needed. Come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Woo, 
when God told Moses to go to Pharaoh, he said, I'm going to harden his heart so I might multiply my signs and wonders in, his, in, in Egypt. Amen. That's Exodus 7 and 3. God told Moses, here's my perfect will for you. Go to Pharaoh. Amen. And say, thus said the Lord, let my people go. I can imagine Moses getting a little happy right there at the burning bush. Yeah, I'm seeing a burning bush, a miraculous thing, a miraculous sight. I, come on, somebody. God's visiting me. Oh, glory to God. And God said, oh, by the way, I'm going to harden his heart and he ain't going to do it at first. Things are going to get really bad. But here's why. So I can multiply my signs and wonders in Egypt. Somebody shout, that was the perfect will of God. I found out the perfect will of God often ain't the place where it's easy. A lot of folks is looking for where it's easy, and they refer to that as the will of God. No, where it's easy, I don't need God. But where I have to go through something, where it requires me to depend on Him, that's where God is. That's where miracles are at. That's where God takes flesh. Amen. And humans, amen, glory to God, and by His Spirit anoints, glory to God, and uses them to do signs and wonders and miracles. Somebody shouts, you ought to rejoice, amen, when it's hard. Why? Because that's where God's conditioning you. He's killing you. He's destroying something in you. But I want you to know when you're in a dark room, I want you to know the master is developing you. Because that photographer may take a quick snapshot of the landscape. And it may be beautiful. But before he can develop it, he has to take it in.